Top 5 Scary Things Caught on Camera Urban Exploration Window Creeper Three boys are exploring an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. One of them sees something down a hallway and decides to go investigate. Yeah, let's go. We walk down. Yeah, yeah, I follow you. I follow you. But, oh no, we don't see anything with the camera. Yeah, it's too dark. Yeah. When the boy comes back, he's a little shaken up, claiming that he thinks he saw someone at the window. This is really scary. Yeah. It's not even a f***ing window. What? It's a, it's a f***ing window. What? What? It's There's someone who's at the window. Someone was at the window. Was? It's gone really bright now. Is the window on from? No, it's, it's the same. Oh, 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 oh now the original post said that they thought a ghost had closed the window. Now, based on their very authentic reactions, I would say that this video is real. But I would also say that this was not a ghost. My guess is that it was something even creepier. A real person skulking around outside the house and quietly watching them. But let me know what you think. Is the window on No, it's it's the same. Oh, 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 Unwelcome visitors. Rolando Leon and his friends are exploring what appears to be an abandoned department store when something very unexpected happens. Rolando's GoPro camera is running the whole time and he catches the entire event on camera. What the f are you doing in here? This is trespassing. Can we help you? Is that abandoned? Huh? Is that abandoned? No, this is not abandoned. Do you see the fences? Do you see the property structures around? We came into the side so we didn't yeah. see anything. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be coming through at all, right? Alright. All right. All right, let's block it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, by the way, you guys got 10 bucks before I call the cop? <laughs> no, we're broke. Uh, yeah. Come on. You guys live here? You guys can get yeah, home here. Yeah, well, we do dirty property. It doesn't so. matter if you live here or not. So which way is the way out? I don't know. Which, which way, way did you come, you come in? in? You went, went that way. Here. Well, then figure it out. Now, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to see that the two sketchy guys who run out and yell at the boys are not the property owners. First off, we can see one of the men on camera, and he's filthy. In fact, his clothes are so dirty that you can actually see the dirt in the dark. Second, the man behind them, whom we never see on camera, actually asks the boys for $10, then lets it slip that the two men are living inside the abandoned building. Hey, by the way, you guys got 10 bucks before we call the cop? <laughs> no, we're broke. Uh, yeah, come on. You guys live here? You guys can get yeah, home here. Yeah, well, we do pretty property. It doesn't matter if you live here or not. And finally, the two men don't even know the way back out of the building. So which way is the way out? I don't know. Which, which way did you come, come, in? come in? The boys make it out completely okay and meet up with their friends. But this was definitely a scary experience they won't soon forget. Watch your step. This next video is by a popular YouTube urban explorer and ghost hunter called The Fam. Now it should be noted that The Fam is legally blind and therefore relies on his camera to help him find his way around. While exploring a hospital that is said to be haunted, The Fam says he experienced several creepy occurrences. Oh man, this place is so freaking creepy. Alright. Oh, this thing is moving. But I'm not gonna comment on his ghostly encounters here. You can check out the fam's channel to see his entire video and make up your own mind on the spooky stuff. But it turns out that the abandoned hospital had experienced some minor flooding. What the? What? No! What? The roof is flooded! Oh man. And the scariest incident of all didn't involve any ghosts or spirits. Now in accordance with YouTube's family-friendly content guidelines, let me say before this clip that James was in no way seriously injured. Oh my god. Oh. 
what the f oh. oh guys it's not good guys I just fell in a hole and I just broke my camera and I just skinned myself up look at this look at this freaking how the hell there was like a board across here and I stepped in it I went straight down guys I don't even find a bottom to that this whole leg all the way up to here went in here and then my elbow hit oh my gosh freaking camera oh so wet guys my, I don't know what I did with my camera but it's all busted up oh man this ain't good guys oh. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. My leg is on fire right now. My elbow is on fire. That was uh, gone wrong for sure. I got to get cleaned up, guys. That water looks super nasty. I got cuts on my elbow, on my leg. I need to, like, use some hydrogen peroxide or something. That water looks really bad. James breaks his camera and almost breaks his leg when he falls through a rotten board into some murky flood water. But luckily, he only suffers from a few minor scrapes that can easily be treated with some antibiotics and a light bandage. Snake in the Grass On the YouTube channel The Paranormal Files, Colin and his girlfriend Peyton explore abandoned and allegedly haunted locations. In this video, they were exploring an abandoned bunker in the remote Texas countryside with their friend Hunter. At first, the group jokes about how the area is likely filled with venomous snakes. Don't fall on any snakes. Oh, falling on any snakes there, feller. How can a school be this dilapidated? But it's obvious that they're a little unnerved by the threat of accidentally stepping on a real snake. Oh my god. What is this? You okay? <laughs> Stick just hit me in the leg. Uh -oh. I thought it was a snake. Turns out that they might have a reason to be worried. Rattlesnake. Where? There's a rattlesnake right there. <sighs> look, look. Where is okay, it? Okay, stay really far out this way. Stay really far out this way. Careful, yo. There might be more. His head just popped out, dude. Where? Where? He's right there. Of look, where? Get right here. Here's his head. Where? Come here. Where? I was standing right oh. there, dude. <gasps> yo. Where? I was right at the right top. There. Hold up. Look out, Hunter. I was literally, my foot was like... Two inches Yo, away from right there. If there's one right there, there's got to be others. That's exactly where they like to go to, like under like an outcrop. Yo, let's get out of here. Oh my here. god, we are walking Please. right under there. Peyton is standing by a stone structure when a rattlesnake peeks its head out right next to her. Luckily, no one was hurt. But the group is very careful as they make their way back to their car. Come on. I don't, I nope. I heard someone behind me in the grass. Run. Oh my it's dude, a I heard someone behind me in the grass, though. There's an Asian on the road back there. Can we walk on the road back? Yeah. You can see this full video and more of their urbex and ghost hunting adventures over on their YouTube channel, The Paranormal Files. An alarming phone call. Popular YouTube urban explorer Dan Bell and a friend are exploring the abandoned Eigenbrot Brewery. Unfortunately, this building is located in one of the worst neighborhoods in Baltimore, Maryland. Although Dan and his friend are pretty scared to be wandering around this building in such a bad neighborhood, everything seems to be going as planned. At least until they are about to leave. In this final scene here, we're headed back towards the door where we came in. And as I'm grabbing some shots, I hear something that sends a shiver up my spine and that would be a cell phone going off the cell phone went off in the doorway where we came in which means somebody or a group of people were standing there waiting for us
They could be around the corner. So, just now, there was somebody in here with a cell phone, and the cell phone went off and they took off. Luckily, it seems that whoever was waiting for them ran off when the cell phone revealed their position. Dan and his friend exit and just get out of there. For Dan Bell's full video and more urbex, check out his YouTube channel. This is Dan Bell. This week, be sure to check out the Nukes Top 5 Facebook page where you can find two extra bonus stories that weren't included in this video. In fact, there's over four minutes of extra stories and clips. You'll find a link in the description of the video and also in a pinned comment below. You can also use the message button on the Facebook page while you're there to submit scary clips that you've found that you think should be featured in a top five. Thanks for watching.